Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. This is a part 2 of the Windows Complete Login System. In my part 1 video, I have showed how to create a new user registration form and save into SQL Server Database. Now in this video, I will show you how to log in with the user credentials. And here we got the login form. Now let's enter the username and password. The username is that Charan and the password is 123 let's add that one the username is Charan and the password is Charan123 now I'm entering the wrong password Charan which is the wrong password if I click if I try to log in see here we got an error message the invalid username and password click OK let's enter the uh, valid credentials Charan Channel one two three is a password. This one, click login. See here we got the welcome channel logout. When I click logout, it will read it to the login page. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. In my previous video, I have showed how to create a new user registration details and save into SQL Server database. If you miss my part 1 video, at the end of this video tutorial, you will get that video link. Now in this video, I will show you how to implement the login create login form in Windows application. And notice in this form on design page, there is a login, it's a link button. Double click that one. When a user clicks that login link button, I want to open the login form page. Let's add a new form for the login. In the project, right click the project name. Add new item. Select the Windows form. The name of the form to I'm changing to login form. That's yes. Click add. And here we got the login form page. Let me expand this login form design page. Now in this login form first, I'm adding the header tag, open toolbox, I'm expanding the all windows forms. Let's add the label control. Press F4, the text I'm adding, login. And the font size I'm changing to 25. And the color of the four color of the label I'm adding. Let's add the custom color. Is that right? After that, I'm adding two label controls. One for the username and second one for the password. Open toolbox again. The label control. Press F4. I'm changing the label text username control C control V for the password F4 I'm adding the text for the label password after that we'll add the text box control open toolbox come to the bottom here is a text box control add that one F row the text box name I'm changing to text new name control C control V for the password F4 I'm changing the password name text password after that I'm adding a button control open toolbox button control Step four. The button label I'm changing to login. That's it. We have done the designing part. Now we require the coding part. Login. Now in this button click login event. Before writing the coding part, first let's add the first let's add the namespaces. 
using system.data.sql client using system.configuration and the system.configuration namespace by default it's not available in our project references folder if you don't know how to add the system.configuration references DLL library into a project in the previous video I have showed how to add the system.configuration reference libraries in our project so after that in the button click event string main con is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings between double quotes I'm adding the connection string name which is my connection copy this one paste here dot connection string SQL connection SQL con is equals to new SQL connection I'm adding the main con object string SQL query is equals to here the SQL query is a select statement select start from the table name is dbo.user registration copy this one yes here where the column names are at u name is equals to at u name and the password upwd the column name for the password is equals to that. after adding the SQL query let's open the connection string SQL con dot open method SQL command SQL com is equals to new SQL command the SQL command takes two parameters the first one is a command text which is a uh, SQL query object SQL query comma and the second one is the connection object which is SQL con let's add that one also after that SQL com dot parameters dot add with the value between double quotes I'm adding the string parameter name which is this one comma and the second parameter is the object value here the object value we are entering from the text box control text username dot text property let's copy this one press here for the password your password add that one text password dot text after that SQL data adapter as DA is equals to new SQL data adapter the SQL data adapter takes a parameter SQL com object data table DT is equals to new data table as DA dot fill method and the fill I'm adding with the data table object then SQL command dot execute down to a method if the credentials the username and password is valid if dt dot rows property dot count property is greater than zero here in this if condition if the username and password is valid I want to redirect to the welcome page for that let's add a new page highlight the new user registration right click that one add new item select windows form and changing the form to, to welcome page welcome page dot cs let me expand this welcome page also now in this welcome page I'm adding two controls one is a label control and the second one is a logout control open toolbox the label control I'm adding here is the label control press F4 I'm deleting the default label text and the label name I'm changing to lab uname after that I'm adding the link button for the logout link label 
just add here F4 L enter logout and the text I'm changing to logout that's it in the welcome page I have added only two controls one is a label control and the second one is the login logout control I can switch back to the login form uh, code behind if the username and password is valid I want to redirect to the welcome page so welcome page let's create a welcome page object new wc welcome page wcp dot show method and I want to once it's redirect to the welcome page I want to hide this login form page so login this dot this is a the present form hide method else if the username and password is not valid I want to display the error message message box dot show invalid username and password and I want to clear that text box controls text username dot text text password dot text and now in this if condition if a user is valid user in the welcome page I want to display that username so for that I'm declaring a, a new global variable and not here let's add here above the button click public static string welcome welcome user and this object I'm adding in the if condition welcome user is equals to the username we are getting from this text box control text uname dot text let's add that one I want to pass this object to this welcome page design page double click the form welcome page in the form page load lab uname dot text is equals to I'm adding the object from the login form welcome user login form dot welcome user and also I want to add the title of this form this dot text is equals to welcome plus and this this dot text it will display the title of the form welcome username now what we have required and the last one we have a logout when a user clicks the logout button I want to redirect to the login page I can switch to the design mode double click the logout button control link button control here I'm adding login form I want to show LG left is the object login form LF is equals to new login form LF dot show method and I want to hide this welcome page this dot hide method that's it we have done the complete coding part now let's check the output now when I start this application by default it will open the form one design page which is a user registration now I don't require the user registration now I want to login page so to open a particular form at the start open solution explorer in the program.cs open that one notice here application.run new form one I'm changing this form one to 
I'm adding login form. So when I ever run this application, I want to open first the login page. So let's start. And here we got the login form. Now let's enter the username and password. The username is the Charan and the password is 123. Let's add that one. The username is Charan. And the password is Charan123. Now I'm entering the wrong password, Charan, which is the wrong password. If I click, if I try to log in, see here we got an error message, the invalid username and password. Click OK. Let's enter the uh, valid credentials, Charan. Charan123 is the password, this one. Click login. See here we got the welcome Charan logout. When I click logout, it will read it to the login page. Again, we can log in with our credentials. Charan logout. That's it.